the lag warrior. This is Chairpo, the 45th Light Support. I have been piloting mechs for many years. On the multiplayer, a rookie comes around every now and then and starts blaming people of cheating and not taking damage. I make this video to show that this lag armor is caused by network latency and that everyone has it, even the bots. See you in the battlefield. Let's check the light mechs first. They're so fast it's understandable they're hard to hit. But these buddies, they should take the damage. First we have a wolfhound, so called toothpick. It's so thin it's hard to hit, it's fast too. Here it's taking three ER large lasers, straight into the center torso, there. Boom. And if you check the damage display on the lower left, you'll see no damage. Here we have Dr. Lucky. He's running straight at me and I shoot double UAC-10 straight in him for no damage. Here you can see I'm waiting for him to come in range and then boom. Mm -hmm. He's one lucky doctor. Here we have one tough puma. He's taking triple Clan Lubbock's 10 multiple times for no damage. Here's one good shot. He's coming. Boom. No damage whatsoever. That slipped a bit. It should have hit the leg. Here we have on slow motion. Man. Man, that should have hurt. And then again, this slips a bit, but for no damage. That's one Puma. Okay, let's move on to medium max. Here we have a Hellhound taking four ER medium lasers, Lubix 10, Lubix 20, and going yellow. That strike should have been almost as powerful as uh, two heavy ghost rifles. The lag armor also extends to heavy and assault mechs. Here we have a Highlander doing the Van Halen jump. He's taking Dual Lubix 20, Dual Lubix 10. He's orange. Hmm, that's chewy, but no damage. And here we have a saucy Jack, the bot on Templar. He's taking triple ultra autocannon 10, two ER large lasers, and some ghost fire too, for quite a minimal damage. And what have we here? We have a missile fire, but our target is Zola the Fafnir. He's taking dual heavy ghost, four ER large lasers. He's so broad you can't miss him, but if we check the lower left damage display, it should show us no damage. And here we have the jungle, and we have Mad Cat Mark II. He's taking quite an alpha strike straight in the torso. Man, that's one nasty bite, but quite a minimal damage. Here we have an interesting recording. I'm running on a Chimera with long tom cannon and jump jets. I'm trying to shoot this enemy gladiator, Paladin. I have 10 score. Boom, that missed a bit, but should have done something. The long tom cannon has splash damage. Uh, still 10 score, and I'm getting crippled. The heat is rising. The score's the same. Boom! That should have hit, but 10 score, no damage, except for me. I'm almost dead, but the last shot hit straight and no score. Here we have the same on slow motion. There's a little graphical glitch on the shadow. Boom! And my score is still 10. My ping is about 300, little less. 
We all know the Hawkman is a tough piece, but this one really claims the prize. He's taking dual heavy gauze and 12 ER medium lasers to the side torso. Here we can see on the slow motion full alpha strike and going yellow. And he's firing back. Boom. There goes half the armor. Another symptom of the lag is irregular movement. Here we have a Templar, an assault mech, who's obviously spent some tonnage on the engine. He's step dancing. He's taking some damage too, but... Here we can see how he's running still and then jumping forward a bit. Now... In this case, however, he's taking normal damage. So, I am able to destroy him, but he's, he's causing me some serious damage. Here comes the shot. Boom. He managed to shoot back too. On the slow motion here, we can more clearly see how he's running still and then jumping forward straight into the dropship gantry and here again causing the mad cat too to miss and here we have our friend the wolfhound again he's obviously learned the secrets of teleportation although <laughs> he didn't seem to help him much uh, let's see on the slow motion here I'm aiming straight at him, waiting for the weapons to reload, and he slips away with a puff of smoke. If you look at the damage display, you'll see he's actually taken critical damage to the center torso from somewhere. I don't know where. Here we have a funky clip of Argus. You can clearly see on the slow motion how he's doing the moonwalk. Which direction is he moving? Oh, it's very, very hard to take lead aim on that. Obviously, he doesn't have any problems aiming at me because he's almost shooting at my HUD. That's quite typical Argus. That's a very slippery mech. They're dead, but they just don't give up, do they? Here we have an interesting Atlas. He's dead but he just keeps on firing. Let's see on the slow motion. There goes the reactor. There goes a missed pulse laser, but he keeps on firing. Man, if I only had skills like that, I could win anyone. Thanks for watching. See you in the battlefield, and remember, when you shoot at laggy people, take more lead.